Uh, Alright, so another one of um, Jan's beers no, that he's bought us is Dr. Juice, okay. the beer the alchemist. The Schizophrenia, 11% alcohol. Um, he had, is this in, was this one written in French or Flemish? Uh, Flemish. French, 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 yeah. So this one's written in French. It comes from the French part of Belgium. Um, it is a triple at 11% alcohol. It's a big fucking triple. And it's aged in whiskey barrels. Belgian single malt whiskey barrels. Which is interesting. I haven't had a Belgian single malt. Um, have to trust me. It's a dark amber colour again. Uh, on the nose, you get heaps of um, you get heaps more oak. You definitely get a, a real whiskey, and there's a real toasty, like a toasty, nutty sort of character to it. Uh, you definitely get a uh, little hints of the like uh, floral sort of yeast, a little bit of spice, but it smells really, really good. It smells kind of like. Yeah, bourbon barrel aged beer. Ooh, wow, there's a lot of char in there. There's um, there's heaps of oak character. There's a mild, there's a mild malt character in there as well. Like uh, or not malt. I mean, um, like single malt, like whiskey. It takes a back seat. It's very very delicate sort of whiskey flavour. The Belgian single malt whiskey is um, a delicate sort of whiskey. No, don't know. All right. Anyway, so it tastes like um, there's a lot of oak, but the oak's got a real char character to it. There's a lovely bready, nutty sort of malt malt character underneath. Um, medium sweet malt, uh, medium full body, and again a nice dry finish. The bitterness isn't too high. The oak helps dry it out. Good firm carbonation. I'm really, really intrigued by these uh, bourbon barrel aged pale beers. They're bloody really tasty. I think this is a freaking cracker and I'm going to go enjoy it and then cook myself some uh, carne asada tacos.